good yet. Today's project, Graydon's go-kart. So Graydon's birthday is coming right up and he happened to leave with his cousins to go to Lagoon. So today's the day we're gonna make his go-kart run. We got Harbor Freight 15 horse motor. It's probably enough, I think. We'll put that on here and we'll go rip it around and make sure it's good for him. Uh, I traded it out of one of my old co-workers and we drove it for a long time. Then he swamped it in a mud puddle and ruined it. We'll just modify it, make it work. I guess we're doing the go-kart, so if we're putting a new motor on it, we better get the old one off. And looking at it, I think the easiest way, we're just gonna take the whole back swing arm off. I don't know how we're gonna adapt the chain and stuff, so we'll just take all that off right now and steam clean it up. So what are you doing now, Lando? I am currently disconnecting the throttle because we don't want to rip it off. Probably smart. Yeah, I don't. think we got her finally. Might have leaked a little fuel out. Might have, but no, it's out. no firecrackers. Now Landon will fab that up to fit the new motor. And I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of motor. That's gonna be. You're probably gonna pull a tire off, right? Yeah. That's the last one. Yeah. Cool. I'll get that one off. Dude. Okay, pull the chain off of her. Bend that thing. I bet we can just bend this up right here. Oh! Wow. Okay, maybe that doesn't come off there. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Slide her up. Now slide her off. Nice. Perfect. Now you should be good to go. Now we should be able to. There you go. Back. All right. Got it. One Chinese motor off. Be nice to be able to keep that sprocket set up. Yeah. There's that anyway. Oh, that's a lot of motor. <laughs> what else is in there? Let's make sure this. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's the right size, so. We're gonna make horsepower. All right. Will this bolt on? The next concern, the bolts. It's gonna have to be like right at the seats pretty much to get. We may have to move that drive. <clears throat> Does that unbolt off there? It's dang close to the same. Really? But if it'll go on it, we could. It's loose. I wonder if Terry's got any sprockets down there. All right, we're running down to the boneyard. We got some more go-karts. We're gonna go see if we happen to have the right axle we need down there. We'll see. Let's look at this one this guy gave. That's a possibility. That is. We'll go see what else we got. Let's see if these work. This is basically same, same. It's pretty much the same go kart. Pretty close. It has a single drive on it instead of a double drive. It's actually a better go kart. It's got better seats in it. We might ought to come and get this go kart. This is a whole lot better drive system, other than it doesn't have brakes on the front. We're going to need brakes. I've not sold that to the axle I need either. A little, a little four-wheeler. That's the right size chain right there. We might could take that sprocket, mill the inside of that out, and put it on that other one. 
Let's go down to Terry's and see what he has for a little sprocket stuff. And then we'll come back. We may, we're going to make something work. <laughs> It is 50 gauge, that one, isn't it? We're gonna get those, because I think that go-kart, we'll go rob that go-kart, ring it up. The single drive one, I don't know how else to make it work. We're getting a whole bunch of go-karts to make one, evidently. And the other one's 40, I don't know, I think I got 40 gauge chain. We're getting a couple of each of these, we'll see what we get. So we've got this sprocket that we need. We've got this sprocket that we currently have. We are going to take and machine all these teeth off of this, make it that size, slide it inside of there, weld it, weld it, have a sprocket. Wait, wait, wait. so what one's the chain running off of? Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. This one. But I need. You I need, need the this inside one. of that to go onto the moat. Onto it that. goes there. Okay. But I need the teeth for this one, so we're going to put it there. So, I see. That makes sense? Yep. Now, do you think we can do it? <laughs> That's next. Let's go try it. 3,000. One inch. 30,000. We're currently at one inch. 765. So this is going to, that whole thing's going to fit inside there? Yes. It's going to fit in there tight. That's what's going to center us. competition in here. One, two. Hey, you work soft. Oh, like a boss. Woo. You just needed someone younger. That makes me feel way better. What are you doing, Sean? Just staying busy. That's hard around here. <laughs> we need to move the sprockets, land and help me grind the welds off, but I think it's pressed on, it's pretty tight. So we gotta strip everything and put it in the press, push that gear down. So everything's coming off. Easy two hours, we're gonna be all day. <laughs> Alright, she's built, that slips inside of there. Now we chuck it up in the lathe and get it perfectly straight weld it in so yeah but this is the game plan now that should slide onto there like that this should slip down onto here somehow like that chain will run in the middle of there be welded on and she'll be great right yep so we've done a little calculating. We flipped the axle over. Sean's working on breaking the, the sprocket loose. We gotta press it over about four inches and then start building motor mounts. We'll do it. How straight do you think she's gonna be, Hunter? Are you just gonna weld it just like that? Is it in the middle or middle of it or is it sitting too far down? Perfectly in the middle. Okay. She is gonna be what she's gonna be here. Red line, yeah. You like that? That's 
it's almost two inches. It's moving quite a bit. Let's move it up a hole. Well, that's far. I don't know if it's far enough, but it's a ways. We're gonna go measure it. Holy cow. <laughs> I mean, it was taking 25 tons to move it. Is that bent now? Or does it, did it come back? We'll find out. We're gonna find out. Can we out? drive it if the tire wobbles? It's probably bent. Maybe don't show them that. Maybe turn that off. <laughs> Look how crooked that is. Oh yeah. You gotta push something, the other side. Something didn't move quite right. You were on a bolt or something, or? They were both on bolts. Maybe Hammer? We'll straighten that up. We are, we're getting here. We're getting close. Ooh. It's gonna miss it. We'll cut them off. I'll put a nut on it and cut them off. Hey. We've got problems. Isn't that supposed to line up with? It needs to be out. That's on backwards. Okay, we'll Can't figure this it. out. I mean, we can build complex cars, but you give us a go-kart, things start getting hard. That seems like a lot of stress out on the end of that. I feel like it doesn't go that way. Where else would it go? Off of, yeah, I'll bet it goes right off of that. Brake's definitely causing our problems. Okay. Will that one go up in there? It'll drop in now, right? Okay. Maybe Slide we'll it bend that part in that like area. that. We found the combo. We got it. Hunter, don't worry, we got it. You were all nervous the whole time, but we handled it. I'm pretty nervous still. We're like two inches off here. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> Go lower. Well, that didn't help. Raise the card up. The thing up. up. Maybe, the Maybe whole lift. Maybe. I don't know. Remember when we said it wouldn't take long, we'd be ripping this thing? Yeah, we're not. I don't feel like that's over far enough. Don't grab this here motor. Low tire. The lines were just good. There's a lot of motor there. It can set right. Oh boy. Holy. That's what I thought. Now, build that whole little compartment right up. Ruining that is going to come in key right now. Dang it. Well, we'll set it back over here. All right, so we've we've done everything we can do here. Basically, we figured out, I bought this off of Amazon, and we figured out they've welded it on improperly. It needs to be cut loose, welded flush, so that the belts will line up and the sprockets will line up. But today we've ran out of ambition. It's like two million degrees, it's hot. And uh, we're done for the day with this, so come back to it tomorrow and see if we can get it running. We're back on Graydon's go-kart. I got some, some help in the shop today. Yeah, I think you can call it help. It's help. So, Kenner solved my problems. I was struggling with this whole belt drive situation. I couldn't make it line up. He's like, why don't you just turn that around? It lines up, so. Hey, we've got problems. Isn't that supposed to line up with? It needs to be out. That's on backwards. Yeah, so we're uh, we're ready. Motor is ready to go in now. So these two are gonna start building motor mounts and figuring this out, right? I guess. We're gonna get this go-kart ripping for Graydon today. You want a dirt bike? Dude, I do, bad. I got it here for you. It run, like I said on the phone, it runs harder now than it did. Oh get man. It. Let's get her unloaded. She's yours, man. That thing is so freaking awesome. I feel bad riding that thing, honestly. Why? Dude, this I don't have any nice stuff, Brenda. Like none. This is it's out of my to, league. You want me to just throw it out in the oh. dirt right here? <laughs> Get it over I with? I mean, no doubt. Yeah, they're fairly rebuildable. I mean, how many times I've have we beat on the OG? There's no A doubt. Couple. You're probably going to get bucked off. That might happen. Already did. <laughs> did, and I missed it. Ew. If the light and idle should. Way better. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It runs. Dude, 
I'm not kidding you, it pulls like hard. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it runs better, oh, man. doesn't it? Yeah, it's good. I was yep. just telling these guys, you just hear you going through the gears. I'm like, well, he found high gear. Yep. Felt good all the way it, through. Yeah, it feels awesome. Pulls hard. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Like I told you, I could have made this run, but it wouldn't look like this. <laughs> There's no... No, it's... Yeah. I'm glad you like it. That, this thing's just cool. Yeah, they're, they're a rocket ship. <sighs> Kev, with Dirt Bike Fab, just dropped my bike off. He's leaving, and we are back to work on the go-kart. Well, I'm not. These guys are wrenching on it. I was like, what's this week? That's right. But no, that's not the different go-kart. Yeah, so we have we have went to the boneyard and we brought another go-kart. We're gonna make one out of two now. This one has a better front end in it and a better cage. And the seats that we have currently fit in this one. So that was the determining factor, the seats. We'll get going on this. All right, we're currently fitting a motor. Chad got this plate cut out for us. And we're just making all this stuff go in here, so. Soon enough, we'll be able to fire this thing up, make it run and drive. We've got a lot of bracing to do and stuff, but the gist of it's getting there. We're gaining. Now we got to deal with front end still on it, but we'll get there. I'm gonna update you a little. It's like 10:30. We've been here a while. This go kart, man. I thought uh, go karts would be easy. Not so much. So we ended up pulling the axle back out. I had to machine this shaft to get it to. But things are lining up. Chad's squaring it up currently. We are gonna make the first welds to make this motor permanent, and then we can start putting it together, hooking stuff up, doing donuts. But probably not tonight. So, we're getting there. All right, motor is in this thing. We're uh, stiffening the frame currently, but drive system's all in it. It functions, it turns. I'm gonna tighten the chain up right now, and then we'll go to making everything tough enough to hang together for some kids that beat it up, so. All right, we're about done for the night, but we're to the point where we're gonna pour a little bit of gas in this thing and start it and test all our drive system out and see if it actually functions, so. Try that. So we're putting some gas in it. What if it goes too fast? That's even better. Get the brand new car. There's Got the brand that just came over. How many cranks will the Harbor Freighter take? One. I'll bet it takes more than one. Let's see how this works. First try. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it runs pretty good. First yeah, pull, first firing pull. right up. That's pretty dang good. I came down to the shop. It's a total disaster area. My kids have been down here, Chad's kids, thrashing on this go-kart. They strip the front of this off. So we're gonna put it on here because it has brakes. But man, sometimes it's easier if you do it yourself, but they had a good time, so. I'll put the pieces back together, see if I can find all the parts. They tore everything that had a bolt on it off. We'll, uh, we'll go back together with some of it and then we'll start building. So I'll show you. These are the spindles right here that this go-kart had originally. This is what I have. I gotta cut this off, move this down, make it fit right there. So I'll hurry and get that done because we have a lot of stuff to get done today that's not a go-kart. All right, I've been getting some stuff done. Haven't filmed it because it's just uh, hacking stuff off of one, putting on another. But tires are on it, steering's on it. So, like I was explaining, I just put these, cut them in half, made it all fit. It's a go kart. It'll rip for him. So now I'm just uh, tire rod. I got to lengthen this tire rod. It's too short. But I'm running out of time because uh, guys are going to start showing up to work. I gotta get this thing out of here, but it rolls now, so that'll be easier. Get some controls in it, and he can rip it. Brakes aren't very good yet. Oh, all that stuff seems to work. 
Way high gear. All right, that's that, I guess. We got a go-kart. Kids can go rip this thing around now. So this kid just got home from Lagoon. It's How a, was it? It was fun. It's his birthday. He just turned 11. We got this whole go-kart ripping for him. So we'll take for a rip. Sure. I'm actually super excited. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. <laughs> Hope you have fun on it. Get in, I'll start it. Get in. Let's rip it. Oh yeah, she's a ripper, dude. She rides smooth. So that's a wrap. She's done. Grazer's got his go-kart, so thanks for watching.